Hello, and welcome back to Conquering Finale. My name is Jason Lafredo, and once again, we are managing the score manager and pulverizing our percussion. And we're talking about percussion layouts again. And one of the things I mentioned in the last video is that we're pretty much limited to um, using sounds that are available within the sound set. And when I say limited, um, I mean to say that we'll only hear the sounds within that sound set. As I mentioned before, if you uncheck this option here, we can add any sound that Finale defines here, including custom sounds, and there's a whole bunch of them. Um, but uh, with this option checked, you're only going to uh, get the options, the uh, instruments that are available for the Jazz Fusion drum kit, which is somewhat important if you're interested in playback. If you choose a uh, note type that doesn't exist in the percussion MIDI map and the sound set, therefore, uh, you will not hear that. Um, but in the real world, it's entirely possible that a real percussionist, a real drummer, can have instruments that don't exist within this um, you know, confined jazz fusion drum kit, as Finale defines it. Um, your drummer could have a djembe, for example. Your percussionist could have Indian instruments and Chinese instruments. There's no um, sort of limitation to that. So how do we get around that? Well, again, if we don't care about playback, it doesn't matter. Just uncheck this and go to town. If we care about playback, we're a little bit limited here um, unless we do one special thing and I'm going to show you uh, what that is so first of all I'm going to go into this djembe uh, instrument here and just show you that what I've set up I set up a special djembe percussion layout for this and uh, there is a, a percussion sound in the Garrison instruments called djembe and this djembe sound literally only contains uh, these eight samples. And so it was really easy for me to add this percussion layout. I actually just used the add all, and it added all eight of these instruments. And then I went through, and I defined these on different uh, spaces here with uh, some different um, uh, note heads on some of these things for the dead stroke and the slap. So uh, this was fairly simple to set up, and this works just perfectly fine. We get the djembe sound. We get all eight instruments on the staff all is well and good. Now again, I can't get those sounds in the drum set part because the Fusion drum kit doesn't contain those uh, djembe sounds. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of trick Finale into allowing me to use the djembe set in the, the uh, drum set percussion layout. And this is how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna open the triangle here for the drum set and I'm gonna mess with the layers. Uh, in a previous video in the score manager, I mentioned that it's entirely possible to uh, set uh, different layers to different sounds. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna look at layer three here and I'm gonna uh, find the djembe sound. I believe it's in world. There it is, djembe and wait for that to load up. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on layer four, world djembe. And so now you can see that I've got this uh, drum set part here that's uh, mixed sound. So we've got fusion drum kit on layers one and two and djembe on layer uh, three and four. And what's interesting is when you do this, if I were to select layer one here and now go into notation style percussion and press the settings, and look at the drum set uh, percussion layout designer, you'll notice something here on the upper right hand corner. Now it says current staff drum set parentheses layer one. This is telling me that uh, this is what's going on with layer one. You'll say it says, see it says jazz fusion drum kit. If I were to select layer three and do the same thing, now you'll see that it says uh, drum set layer three and the percussion mini map and therefore the sound is called djembe. And now, um, all of a sudden, the, uh, some of the note types that are selected here are italicized, meaning that the splash symbol in it for this uh, case is not part of the djembe set. Um, so what this means is that I can now actually add uh, the djembe to the drum set. And actually, what I'm going to do is just duplicate this into a new layout. And I'm going to call this uh, drum set with djembe, just like that. Uh, click OK and just make sure we save that and edit this again. And now what I can do is I can um, I can go in here and you'll see the world djembe instruments here. And actually, if I just press Add All, I believe it will put all eight djembe instruments down at the bottom of the list. And now I can go ahead and uh, redefine these as needed. So I can go ahead and move that up. We can go put this one over here, um, and I can set these up with all these other things. I'm going to uh, skip ahead for now and just show you uh, the end result of this in another file because it did take me a little bit of time to completely set that up. 
And so now we'll look at this file where this is all finished. And you can see that I've got my mix set, Fusion Drum Kit, Djembe. And if we select layer three and go into this percussion layout drum set with Djembe, um, you'll see that I've got all my drum set uh, notations up here. And then at the bottom, I have all eight Djembe uh, note types in different spaces and with different um, uh, note heads and everything, and we're all set to go. So it is possible to have the drum set and the djembe exist on the same staff. It's always possible if this is unchecked, but now with um, the uh, layers three and four set to use that particular sound set for the djembe, now I can actually hear it. And the trick to this, of course, is that you do have to use the proper layers when you put the notes in the score in order to hear it. So you'll see that I've got layers three and four. These are the uh, djembe notes that um, exist. If these were in layers one and two, you wouldn't be able to hear this. Actually, let me do this. I'm going to do something here just to prove my point. I'm going to move layers three into layer one. Oops. And I'm going to move layers four into layer two just to indicate that these notes can exist in those layers, but when you play it back, there's the drums, you'll hear nothing because those notes are in layers one and two, and then back to the drums, right? If I were to move uh, these back to layers three and four, so one to three, two to four, again, they could all be in layer three, it doesn't matter. Um, now you'll be able to hear those djembe sounds. back to drums. So that's really the uh, the magic trick to this. And if you think about it, um, effectively, we could use up to four different uh, drum sounds or percussion sounds within any staff. So, you know, you don't have to have two for a fusion drum kit, although for drums, you probably really want to do retain two layers. So maybe in this case, you could only have three. But if it's a percussionist, you could, you know, theoretically have uh, the orchestra of percussion instruments. You could have um, the uh, all kinds of um, ethnic percussion. You could do the Indian percussion, the Chinese percussion, the African percussion, and you can put those all in one staff as long as um, the uh, the sounds are set on different layers, and the um, the layouts are set to add all of the instruments that you need from each particular um, uh, sound set. I mean, the tricky thing is that you do kind of, when you start getting that complicated, you do have to keep track of, you know, which uh, sound set is in which layer, and, uh, you know, but it's, uh, but it's entirely possible to do something like that. And I just wanted to show you how it can be done. All right, so uh, that's all there is to it. That's how you would get uh, percussion layouts with multiple MIDI maps and, and uh, percussion sounds in it. So that's a neat little trick. All right, so once again, thanks for watching. Um, the next video, we're going to start looking at the uh, percussion MIDI map. So from here, it gets, uh, it gets even deeper and deeper into the, uh, the layer cake, as it were. So all right, come back for that, and I will see you soon on the next video.